Welcome to the shop. I'm going to uh, bisect this dowel into a half round with a handsaw. Uh, it's a 7 8 inch dowel and I've got a 7 16 inch piece of wood here. So the first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to draw a line across there, draw another line at a 45 degree angle. So I know where my center point is. Now I need to have a cut line. So I'm going to draw this line right there. And where to stop will be four inches. So a little, little further. So, the first thing you have to do is get a jig that will hold your dowel in your vise. Now, I've got a woodworker's vise, you can do this with a metal worker's vise as well as like the wooden jaws. And what you want is something that has this cradle shape. You see, I've just made it from two matching pieces of wood with a 45 degree bevel on them. That are glued together and then nailed into this board so that I can use the board to make cuts on the bandsaw or whatever. This makes it safe to cut a dowel. This makes it safe to cut a dowel because it doesn't want to spin. So it's held in there pretty well. Now what I'm using is a cheap pull saw. Uh, this is actually, the only thing that's cheap about it is the handle. This part is actually a very high quality part. It's a Japanese design. You can tell because of the way that these teeth are cut. They're not quite the same as so you get that to focus as an American or a European saw. That's the crosscut side, and on the other side, it's a rip cut. We're going to use the uh, crosscut side because it's the side that has the finest teeth. And Hopefully, we'll get this right first time. Never done this before. But, uh, I wish I could show you this. And let, let me move the camera. I can try to show you what I'm doing here. There's a, uh, there's a line right there. And, of course, this is in my way, so I'm not going to be able to do the work while, uh, while it's in this position. So, But you saw where the line was. Uh, I think I can work in this position. Um, I use my thumb. I've got the small tooth side, and I use my thumb to guide the saw to the first cut. I'm just going to gently pull. Now the great thing about this design for a saw is it automatically cuts straight because it, it only cuts on the pull. Most American saws are the opposite. They cut on the push stroke. But 
These Japanese saws are designed to cut on the pull. So just get these first few cuts out of the way. And it should start moving. kind of see what I'm doing. See how there's a there's a line there and I'm just following the line as we continue down the dowel. We just keep following that line all the way to the bottom. It's a much different kind of saw style than you would be normally using with a uh, you know, with an American or European saw. I'm using both hands, and then my eyes never leave the line. I don't look at the saw blade; I'm looking at the line. Now, if you didn't want to cut it straight or follow a curved line, you could do most of the cut with this saw and then finish it up with a coping saw so that it would curve. 
or conversely, you'd make your cut along a different line and then finish it up with a chisel or however you like.